start this off looking at the Vikings pass defense. They, uh, Harrison Smith covers up a lot for these guys. Really, the Vikings play a lot of quarters defense, a lot of cover four. They want to keep you from getting anything deep. You can see here, look, I mean, the, their guys are so far off the line of scrimmage. Like, closest cornerback is, what, seven, seven yards away, eight yards away. In this first play here, we're going to see them run a little out. And watch where Harrison Smith starts breaking on the ball. Right here, he sees that Hurts is looking right at him. And he just starts breaking on the route. He's running a little out route. And throws a little dangerous, but he gets it in there. Um, good throw here. Can beat, can beat this coverage, but Harrison Smith is bright as they come. Just comes straight down on the route. Minimizes the game. This next one here shows you a screen pass. We see how deep that coverage is seven yards, six yards, I mean, even a little more. So that's six yards, seven, that's eight. They give a lot of cushion underneath, gives a lot of opportunity on the underneath, especially this little screen pass. You see Miles Sanders jumping out right here and blocking set up. We got one on one. Got this guy, I don't know where he's going. Maybe he's coming for this guy, and they're both going to attack this guy. We'll see. So, looks like he's just running a go route. He's just running a little post. Clears this guy it clears this guy out of his quarter coverage. So, by quarter coverage, I mean that. So, each one has a deep responsibility to that quarter. Next up, we're going to take a look at the impact of scrambling on this defense. 35 looks like he's got a little like hook curl his own coverage here and once hurts so i think he comes through here starts scrambling through the pocket he comes down on him and it just it leaves his zone wide open for, for a receiver running right through here see so come down right there him coming downhill gets him just wide open right here just drops it right there. If he'd pedal back, kept back pedaling, like he wasn't worried about the scramble. I mean, this might be what he's supposed to do, but it just it opened up a window that Justin Fields should be able to uh, utilize somewhat similarly. So once again, we're looking at the scramble here. Hertz starts to drift out this way, and one of these receivers, I think it's AJ Brown. He's running some sort of deep route over here. And then as Hurt starts to drift over here, he starts to follow. Follow his quarterback drifting. And in the quarter's coverage, so you're saying I think A.J. Brown can beat Cam Dantzler one-on-one -on -one downfield. I'm just a straight go route like, and he almost does but um, I'll let you just take a look for yourself it's uh, if the ball's a little better Brown can probably make a play if, if you get a look like this you, you know and you trust your receiver enough you might as well take the shot so now on this one we see a, a coverage bust that opens up from the Vikings that gives the Eagles a shot to go deep and they, they nail it this is, again, just guys who are new to the coverage, like right there. Did you see it? Did you see him? He thought he was passing him off to Harrison Smith, but he's not. Like, they both they both bite on this guy. They're both heading straight for him. Right here is the first time of many that we see them target number 58, uh, Hicks, linebacker. It's uh, He was actually taken off the field at one point because he was just getting abused out there by the Eagles. So if he's on the field on passing down, the Bears would be smart to just go after him unless he's shown significantly improved play. I mean, he can 
not guard Devontae Smith. I don't know why he's out there against Devontae Smith. That got her really pass block in there. That's Neil Hunter. Before slipping out last second and just green grass, you know. That's a, that's a nice game right there. Where's now? I think he gets him right there. I hope they keep him in on passing downs on Sunday. Just got her just abused him. Now at this point, 58's like, man, I'm tired of being beat. I need to start jumping on some of these. I need to start uh, anticipating them. And they put him in conflict, and he anticipates the wrong way. So you see, Goddard's about to run out this way, which enters his corner of the field. He needs to drop it and pick up the slant route that's coming in. But he fails to do that, and both these defenders chase this out route, leaving the slant wide open. Now we're going to start to look at some of the read options that they pulled out in this game. Um, they really hammered the read option game and the RPO game. Um, one of the big reasons they won this game was the way that they were able to pick up five yards here, five yards there on read options and RPOs. There. I mean, did you see how aggressive Darius Smith was down on the running back? Just no hesitation. Doesn't care if he's actually got the ball or not. He's tackling the running back. It's going to open a hole for Hertz. Here we're going to see another read option going. Some funky motion. Or no, this one's actually an RPO. But again, look at this edge defender. Just coming in straight down on the running back. Does he have the ball? Does he not? I don't care. I'm getting him. And it leaves Hurts nice and, wait for it, clean. I hope I hope they employ the same strategy. It's going to help keep Justin Fields clean a lot. Um, I know Fields isn't the best with RPOs, but... Hopefully they have some that they've game planned and implemented into the offense for them. Here we have a read option, QB keeper. So right here, that's who he's reading. Let's see how he bites. Does he have the ball? Does he not? I don't care. I'm tackling him. Hertz just has green grass in front of him. This one, we just see the gladiator, it's Neil Hunter. Looks like a gladiator, um, at least when he's on the field. Just smash down on this run concept and wreck it. Against Lane Johnson, who's one of the best tackles in the league. Or actually, no, he takes on the tight end there, Goddard, which is a mismatch. But again, we're going to be watching Dalvin Tomlinson, number 94 there. Just beautifully two gap this read against a tight end. Like Goddard comes in here, gives him a block, and Goddard's just like, "What do you expect me to do to do with this? This guy's got like 120 pounds on me." Uh, and Tomlinson just kind of toys with him on the two gap and then makes the play. Now, now that we've seen a few them shut down a few run plays, there were two run plays that really torched this defense, and that was two halfback draws like within three or four plays of each other um so we see boston scott here is a quick little scat back um i've always been a big fan fan of him he's helped me in fantasy a lot but we see right here hurts sells the quick game these linebackers both drop back on their heels because they're like we've been torched by the quick game enough and we're trailing um, and then just turns, hands it to Scott. By then, Goddard's up on Hicks. Kelsey's up on uh, Kendricks. And this is a wide open look. Like, Scott's just got room to play. 